Good evening, welcome to the press conference for Lithuania, Greece. Uh, second round, Group J, Lithuania winning this uh, game 92 to 67. We're joined by Jonas Papapetru and Dimitris Itoudis. Uh, if you could just give us a comment, please, Jonas. Uh, yeah, uh, obviously, congratulations to uh, Lithuania. They play a great game throughout four periods. Uh, I think we collapse a little bit uh, after the third period, uh, fourth period, and the result uh, is not the one that, uh, in my opinion, shows you know our effort, this deficit. But uh, for sure, they played very tough. We made mistakes. Uh, they scored in very high percentages. And uh, congrats to them. I wish them all the best. Uh, and obviously, it's, uh, it sucks and it hurts for us. OK, thank you. Um, Coach Etudis. Good evening, everybody. I would like also to congratulate Lithuania. They were, I um, wish them the best of luck all the way. Um, we have uh, opened the game pretty good. Uh, actually, not pretty good in the beginning of the first minutes, but we managed to establish a better uh, status quo and a better offensive and defensive uh, place and get the lead with a big percent, per, per, actually, uh, uh, big margin and big uh, uh, outcome of the point in terms of the points. Scored 40. Um, uh, 43 points and then uh, I, I want to separate one momentum of the game at 61 58 for, for them we had a good possession ended with a bad shot and the closure of the switch defense and Monte Yunus three-pointer if you remember so that, that was one momentum that hurt us a lot in terms of how using the fouls. We're a team that we're hustling a lot and we are using the fouls better. We ended the fourth quarter actually with uh, not getting into the bonus. And Lithuania had scored with several situations 12, out, 12 outs out of 16 three-pointers in the second half, which um, psychologically uh, knocked us down lots of times, either because of the post game, uh, other creations, lost ball, nobody's ball, um, low clock. They did hit three shots on the low clock. And uh, overall, they, they get the boost uh, needed to get the lead and uh, confidently win that game, deserve to win that game. That's why we congratulate them. Um, overall, you know, we, we're not qualifying to the top eight, but uh, we have one more game. Uh, we're proud of uh, our picture so far, and this is what we're going to do on Sunday, try to be proud of ourselves and our country. We, we thank really a big thank you goes to the fans that they they follow the team and they, they kept believing. This is very important. That's why the players and the whole team was applauding them and uh, thanking them for that uh, big journey and a big uh, trip they have um, made in such a difficult moments for, for our country. Okay, thank you. Uh, if you have a question, raise your hand. Uh, yes, on the front row, please. Hello, question for both of you. Coach, it was mentioned that in the previous press conference how important was for a team being in this stage, but you wanted more. How tough is being eliminated in this moment of the tournament? Uh, it's for both? Okay, Yannick. Uh, it's pretty tough, you know. Obviously, uh, we knew coming in here that uh, we needed uh, both wins in this round for us to qualify. Uh, we targeted that game and we wanted to uh, show, like Coach said, a very good picture like we did in the previous games, fighting spirit. Uh, I think we fought throughout the game uh, pretty well. Like Coach said, we made some mistakes that really cost us. And uh, Lithuania, congratulations to them, they capitalized. It really hurts, you know, it's uh, no matter what year it is, no matter absences, no matter who's playing or not, and everything that we've been through. Uh, coming to play in the tournament with 11 players, uh, you know, it still has the same. It doesn't matter. Uh, you're out, you're out, and you're going to be forced to watch the rest of the teams play. So it, it hurts, you know. <coughs> well, I, I would like to add uh, into this. Obviously, it sucks, and you, you don't compete to to be eliminated or to lose a game. We, the, the team had showed character throughout this tournament so far, and. Uh, that's how we open, and as I said, they they kept me composed in the beginning of the game with 0-7 and everything. I took any any rush time out. The team came back and took over. So those players they they showed character. Um, um, obviously, you need to to have a continuity in in the game. You cannot play only one quarter or two quarters or three quarters. It's not enough. Uh, but the fact that whoever 
wears the jersey of um, Greek national uh, team, uh, wants to give the best, they, they actually make us a favor to the Federation coming, the players that they're coming, and those that they, they couldn't come. That's, it's it's uh, obvious that they came other in other tournaments. So we need to keep that on the, on the highest level, uh, the wish, um, because uh, we're a proud nation and uh, you know we love basketball we love sports in general but uh, the, the the players they represent the country very proudly and this is what we're going to do also continue okay Are there, okay right here sorry uh, hi coach I'm one from Dagat Philippines so Speaking of continuity, if I may ask a bit of looking far ahead, so what do you think is the next for Greece basketball with the Olympics coming up and hoping Yanis can play soon for you guys? So what do you think you guys learned in this World Cup to possibly bring in future tournaments? Well, allow me to have, uh, thank you for this question, allow me to have also the Sunday game and then to summarize and to uh, answer to, to you uh, on Sunday. But uh, in regards of... Uh, so far, I already made my statement that the team had showed character, uh, overcame several obstacles that we have faced. Uh, we, we kept together and we're fighting together. That's how we entered in this game too. We wanted to qualify to the top eight. We really kept believing on, on that. Obviously, the opponent knocked you down in, in several occasions. I analyzed the game. But still, from this kind of... Uh, uh, losses and this kind of um, circumstances, you can become stronger, smarter, tougher. That's why I'm saying about the continuity in, in terms of continue to love the, uh, uh, your, your country, uh, being uh, really dedicated into come and, uh, and help the national team uh, without having any expectations just to help your country and being a, a good teammate. That's, that's the spirit that this group of people had will have and this is the continuity we're looking for everybody wants and six for for wins you get into to win the game but uh, it's not given that everybody loves what he's doing and uh, when you have such players i'm proud for that okay, john. john mark garcia from spin.ph so the quarterfinal run may be over but you had two hard fought wins against jordan and new zealand so just how proud are you coach of the entire team, the entire experience so far, and how motivated will the team be to finish off this World Cup on a high? Well, allow me not to repeat myself. I just, I just said in my two quotes exactly those. I mean, uh, it's not a disrespect uh, towards you, but I just talked about how proud I am. I just finished my, my previous statement in regards of how proud we are for this uh, a group of uh, players that they they stay together. We uh, this this team has a future. Uh, first of all, we have this game on Sunday. We're not gonna come over here just to play the game. We wanna win that game on Sunday. Uh, take it very seriously, and uh, and stay healthy and looking for the next uh, challenges. Okay. Thank you very much, John. Thank you. Thanks.